Hi there, welcome to Cord Cutters, the show where we bring you the future of television today. And on this episode, we're dealing with a common Netflix problem. If you're anything like me, I have a family at home. I have a four-year-old daughter who loves Netflix, who loves to watch TV. And she loves shows like Dora the Explorer, Angelina Ballerina, Hello Kitty, all good stuff, but it also populates my instant queue, it populates my recently watch list, and I have a hard time finding the stuff that I want to watch. So what can I do about that? Well, there's a new service out there called multiqueues.com that essentially gives you separate queues, separate user accounts for Netflix and helps you to organize the stuff that way and separate it a little bit like that. And the premise is also that you can maybe also have a closer eye on what your kids watch and so that they don't stumble across some movies that might be inappropriate. How well does it work? Well, let's take a look. So if we take a look at the multiqueues.com website, I have preloaded this already. I signed up for an account and as you can see, I made a queue for myself, one for my kids, one for my wife and one for my dog. And if you look into my, my own queue right now, I can secure that with a pin number. I enter this here. Uh, it loads up a couple of movies that I put into my queue. And then I can also browse the entire Netflix catalog. So I can now go to top movies and add additional movies to this queue. If you wanna watch uh, The Usual Suspects, uh, then I add it to my queue, and it's gonna show up in my personal queue. Now, if I go to my kids' queue right here, you see there's very different movies. It's uh, Curious George and Tangled and stuff like that. So you kinda of get the basic idea. What's interesting about this is if I go and edit uh, the options for these different queues, I can now um, have different filters. So for example, I can say my kids should not see any movies that are TVMA, obviously. I don't want to have them uh, with PG-13 stuff. I don't want to have not rated movies. And I also want to only have certain genres for them. Those are the basic settings. Now, if I am in my queue, for example, and I watch something, I can do that right here on my desktop. I can start a movie and then it just simply starts the Netflix player. It loads up here and then I can watch it. And the same, of course, can be done if I give the laptop to my kids, to my daughter. She can then go through her queue and she can watch the movies that I have chosen for her that are appropriate for her. This is, of course, a nice little computer, but most people nowadays don't really watch Netflix just on the laptop anymore. You, can, you really want to watch it on the TV screen. And the nice thing about this is that multiqueues.com actually has a Roku app. And let's take a look at uh, how this looks like. So if you want to watch this on your Roku box, uh, multiqueues.com has its own Roku channel. You find it in the Roku channel store. I have pre-installed it here. Let's take a look at it. We fire it up and the first time I had to, of course, authorize myself, put a little code in there. You know by now how this works if you're a Roku owner. And then it just fires up my account, it has my own queue, it has my kids, my wife, my dog, all the stuff that I have set up before. And let's just look at what my wife likes to watch. Uh, I can go to her queue. And uh, yeah, she likes to watch TV shows like Raising Hope. I can now browse this and I can also view it in Netflix. And now what's coming next is a little bit awkward, so I have to explain it a little bit. Um, Multicues.com cannot play these videos in their own channel or in their own application. Instead, what it does is it adds the title to the top of your instant queue in your Netflix catalog. So um, if I now say view Netflix, you can see what happens, it explains it a little bit here and then it stops and then you have to actually go to your Netflix application. Sometimes it fires it up automatically but it doesn't always seem to work. And once you go to your Netflix application, then um, the show should show up here in the uh, instant queue. Yeah, it didn't even work. Oh, there it is. So there we go. There it shows up in the instant queue. And um, the idea is, essentially, I have a lot of stuff here that's, that's, that I have queued up just on Netflix before. But essentially, if you use multiqueues.com, you could empty all of that out, erase all of that, and it would always just serve up this one video for you. And it stays in there for 30 minutes, but it's just enough that you want to watch it right away. And then after that, multiqueues.com is going to erase it. So you always find your pick and then you can just play it on here. So how well does this work for cord cutters? Well, I gotta say, 
If you want to keep track of the stuff your kids are watching, it's not really the right solution for you. Because let's face it, if it throws you back into the Netflix application, you can just browse anything there, you can watch anything there, and it doesn't really control access to content at all. However, um, my daughter, four years old, I said, she likes to watch the same movies over and over and over again. And if you want to have a list of all those things, some are separate, some are separate from all the stuff that you like to watch, then maybe that's a good starting point that makes it a little easier to watch Netflix and administer your queue, at least if you have a Roku at home. So how do you deal with this issue of sharing a Netflix account in your family? Do you have special tricks for it or does it not bother you at all? We would like to hear your opinion. Send your thoughts, your comments, your questions if you have any to cardcutters at gigaom.com. You can also go to our website gigaom.com slash cardcutters. You'll find the show notes to this episode there with a link to multicues.com. You'll find previous episodes and links to our presence on Facebook and on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you and otherwise see you next time.